be responsible for your lies. Oprah's six words of unforgiving Lee hit Sussex's heart ahead of her second plea from hell. Before we continue, I advise you to watch till the end for complete information. Oprah Winfrey's six-word warning to Harry and Meghan as Sussexes split into the royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down from their full-time royal duties in March 2020 and spoke about the firm in an interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021. In the bombshell, Meghan told everyone about her suicidal thoughts as a royal and Harry about his strained relationship with Prince William and Prince Charles. We know Meghan Markle is a compulsive liar and she knew Oprah would sway the interview in her and Prince Harry's favor. Apora jeopardized her reputation as a baddest interviewer by not verifying anything the Sussexes said in the interview. She just accepted everything as gospel. Here's what we think she wants to keep on Meghan's good side. Despite what has been said about how she approached the Sussexes for an interview before the wedding, there must obviously be more to it. Ms. Winfrey apparently used Doria to get an invitation to the wedding to speak with Markle and Harry. However, there wasn't enough interesting information for her since they hadn't been together that long, so she had taken her time until there would have been a certain level of professional courtesy when it came to the questions asked by Oprah. She didn't interrogate Harry or Meghan to see if they got their story right. Also, since she is friends with them, she shouldn't have interviewed them. Because of that, the whole thing was designed to portray everyone but the Sussexes in a terrible light. And where is your respect, she didn't even refer to Catherine by her real name title. The same applies to Princes Carl and Wilhelm. Now. Daniela Elsa, royal commentator, referenced a 2021 interview in an article where she noted Harry's legal dispute with the Home Office over police protection in the UK. The expert advice Ms Winfrey gave the couple in their sit-down told everyone, telling the New Zealand Herald that Harry is currently forging a life of his own, one built on his hopes and aspirations, and raising his family with Meghan away from the hustle and bustle and the rules of kingship and he gave up so much to have the freedom to do all of this. Choose happiness, choose joy, choose to look forward and not backward forever. Or as Sussex neighbor and friend Oprah Winfrey has said, you are responsible for your words. Life is really about moving on. Meghan and Harry lost their taxpayer-funded police protection after stepping down from royal life in 2020. Since then, the couple has relied on a private security team in the United States. However, the couple's legal representatives argue that this team does not have appropriate jurisdiction abroad or access to British intelligence information needed to protect the Sussex family. Harry has argued he cannot ensure the protection of Meghan and her two children, Archie Harrison and Lily Bet Diana, without the Met Police because of their access to British intelligence. Harry's legal team appeared in court on July 7 to claim his significant tensions with royals influenced home officials' decision to withdraw his security. Royal aides fear the California-based couple could return to Ms. Winfrey for a second interview after the Sussexes were spotted at the celebrity mansion. The Duke and Duchess were pictured driving onto the 70-acre property in Montecito, California, in June. The trio reportedly got to Oprah's house about an hour before leaving, sources told Mail Online. Duncan Larcombe, author of Prince Harry The Inside Story. Proposed for the Royal Beat Programme. Buckingham Palace's decision to withhold its report of alleged bullying of palace staff by Meghan comes because the Sussexes could do another interview. The Duchess has repeatedly denied allegations that she bullied members of her staff, with lawyers calling it all a calculated spear campaign. Mr. Lackland said Jason North should take the risk of reporting to Prince William, his top boss, concerns he had about his staff and their treatment by one of the members of the royal family, which was not only unusual, but within the reign of the Queen this is absolutely unprecedented. I think the reason they are not releasing any of this is because the palace is scared of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. I think they know that, when they release the report, the next thing that's possibly going to happen is Harry and Meghan playing the victim and making Oprah and inflicting another world of pain on people. Go on. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates from the royal